<laughs> okay, we're connecting. Okay, real quick, five, four, three, two, one. This is uh, this is Super Saturday training, 1.10 p.m. Eastern. I'm Tim Siebert with everybody, all the team from around the globe on here. We're talking about retailing and recruiting. Today's training is, is more based on setup. We talked about the new the new two foot by four foot banners that we have. Uh, real quick, bear with me and don't leave this call. You won't be able to get back in, but the new two foot by four foot banners for Gen Java and for Gen Mink that we have, you can send us a support ticket if you want to order any of these and we will uh, tell you how much and, and, and everything and you just pay with a money order. Um, we'll send you a response back. Also, we're talking about samples. Our Gen Java program has a sample, one ounce sample program. You can buy 12 of these. It comes with a autoresponder and landing page system as well that you can use. It's out of Guerrilla Marketing Pro back office. And trust me, folks, mo so many millionaires were made in this industry from sample programs. Now our Gen Mink product is phenomenal. As you know, it comes in the one ounce bottle like this. Great product, super selling product, but to have samples of it helps out as well. This is the little 10 milliliter sample size. You can order these on Am Amazon. Uh, they, you can go with the bigger, uh, the bigger version of this. It's about an, an extra half inch tall, taller than this, and it has a little dropper with it. But these are great. You notice how the la I got the little labels on it. It's got Gen Mink and it's got a website on it. So they're great to drop off with a business card also for a salon owner. And you can actually open it up with them, have them open it up and, and put, a, you know, put a drop on their finger. Put a drop on their finger. Let me do it like this. There we go. And have them put it on their skin. And I trust me, when people do this, they, they start to use it. They put it on a scar, existing scar, right there in the corners of their eyes, their nose, their uh, corner of their mouth, wherever they have lines, wrinkles, creases, scars, uh, uh, any kind of turkey neck they can use it on. If they, uh, if they have stretch marks from weight loss, uh, from giving birth, anything like that, uh, they can use it on that. A great sample program. Now we're looking at possibly putting together an autoresponder system for a lead capture page system for Gen Mink. So that's, cool. that's in the work awesome. right now. Cool. Okay. Awesome. So we're working on that right now. That's, that's something that we definitely feel that, uh, that you definitely want to have uh, available. To you. <sighs> now let's talk about retail and I, I, just for a minute as far as getting out there, as far as making it happen from door hangers to business cards to flyers, half page flyers like this, which are great to use. You need to definitely put together some, and these flyers are available in the Genesity group in, in Facebook. Matter of fact, most of our flyers, business cards or anything like that, you can see in that Genesity group, Facebook Genesity group back there as well as any kind of script that we offer or anything like that will always be housed there. Um, going door to door, I don't know, are there any door to door salespeople on tonight, on today's live training? Anybody that, that loves to go door to door? I mean, I, I know I've done it in the past. I've done a little bit of everything just to see if I like something or don't like it. Um, I'm not much of a door to door person. I do, I do not like anymore. to put, I, yeah, I do like to put flyers or door hangers on doors or in the paper, the newspaper shoot below a mailbox. Yeah. I love to do that as I go for my walks. Yeah. I still do it. I still do it. So there's ways to get your message out there. And there's ways to ask for a sale too. It's kind of funny because Gray, my son Gray, this is an he's an int he's been an introvert all of his life, all of his life. And now he basically, he's not afraid to ask the question. He, and this is no joke. He, he, he said he gave out a sample. I said, where did you get so-and-so that just placed an order for 10 Gen Minks? How did, where did you? He said, well, I was, it's funny because he says, he, he, a girl came into his store 
that works at a salon down the street. And he, he asked her, he says, have you ever heard of Gen Mink? It's 100% mink oil. And she goes, no, what's it? And he said what it was used for. And he, she said, well, you know, the, the owner of the salon I work with would probably love to have that product because he told her the pricing and everything else because they have a product. It's about three times the price. And so he said he gave her a sample. He gave her a sample. He got down there, of course, with the flyer and everything, spoke with the owner. And the owner said, well, you know, I, I, I really like that. He said, well, you know, if you sign up for free as a distributor, you can buy it at $25 a bottle. She said, you're kidding me. She, he goes, yeah, how many bottles do you want to order? And she says, well, probably 10 bottles. He just asked for the order. He asked her to marry her on the first date. And I was like, wow. And he says he got on her computer and signed her up. And then placed, had her place the order, showed her how easy it was, and then showed her the back office and showed her her link. And then she saw the CBD products. She saw the, the Gen Health product, the Gen Java. Then he started talking to her because she has a coffee maker over to the side, talking to her about Gen Java. Folks, that's all it is, is opening up yeah. our mouths. That's all it is. Yeah, getting it out there. Yeah, getting it out there and having a sample ready. It's hard to sample Gen Health. It's hard to sample Keto, but the Gen Java and the Gen Mink are two big products. You can create that, and you can create the want, the desire for it. Now, do you, does anybody recognize what he just did at the same time? Does anybody recognize something he just did? He opened it up where everyone else will hear him in there, and that's why. That was that was that was the first thing he did. Yeah. Now, now, guess what the second thing he did? It was duplicatable. Took yeah. Duplicatable. That's he took right. control of the conversation. Took he control of the conversation. That's exactly yeah. right. Now, take Ask a listen. Important questions. Yeah. He questioned them. He went in to make that retail sale. But folks, what did he do? He recruited them. He retailed to rec recruit. Yeah. Okay. He showed them they could make $25 a bottle. She said, I'll, he said, how many bottles do you want to start off with? She said, 10 bottles. Folks, he just, he just rolled with the punches. Yeah. It was so smooth. And how do I know it was smooth? Because I got a chance to talk to the lady that owned the salon. And she <laughs> said, she said, man, he is slick. <laughs> <laughs> she said he is slick he like got his me for 10 bottles. i said i said well he must not be that slick because personally you should have ordered 100 bottles because you're going to get these 10 bottles in and you're going to have them sold within a week and you're going to have more people that want them and you're not going to have them yeah and you know what's going to happen and she says yeah you're exactly right now i'm going to lose hot buyers so she that was yesterday Listen to this. He said Monday she's putting in a big order for a hundred or more bottles. Now, folks, awesome. now, folks, I'm going to say this right up front. This isn't going to happen every time for you. By no, no means. No. In the beginning, when Gray first got with with me and decided that network marketing wasn't a scheme or a scam like his mama raised him to believe, okay, and he realized what the truth of the matter was. In the beginning, he fumbled over his words. He had more rejection than there were so many nights at 11 o'clock. He would call me and say, Dad, I just don't know if I can do this anymore. You know, I, I, I've been doing the safe list now for a few weeks and just really haven't been doing much of anything and, and this and that. And listen to where that conversation went, folks. Listen to where the conversation went. I said, Gray, how many safe lists are you doing? Oh, man, I'm doing five or six safe lists a day. Does that sound familiar? Yeah. Some of you are, that's all some of you are doing. And he wasn't getting anything either. I said, great, you need to be doing two to 300 a day. Dad, man, it's taken me 20 minutes, 30 minutes just to do five or six a day. I said, but you notice you're faster and faster each day? Yeah. He said, yeah, you're kind of right there. I said, now that's what it's, it's going to take you six to nine months of commitment of doing it consistently five, six, seven days a week. He said, Dad, I just don't know if I could do it six or seven. I might do it five days a week, but I don't know if I'll do be able to. I said, Great, if you want it bad enough, you're going to do it six and seven days a week. 
until you're at that income that you want to be at. Then you can teach your team to do the same thing. Yeah, that's attainable. And, and folks, that was nine months ago. Gray last month made almost 30, they made $29,111 in retail profits and wholesale and cycle money. He never saw that kind of money. That's, that's double, that's over double what he's making at an ABC liquor store, package store in one month. So I just want to say this. You've got to start somewhere, but you've got to commit. It's a long road. It is no short road to making 100000 a month. Don't let anybody tell you because those people that you hear those testimonies, I got in and two months later, I was up to 100,000 a month. What they're not telling you is they had a group of 10,000 people to follow them that they went to that signed up with them. That's how those incomes are made. So does that say, does that mean you got to have 10,000 people to make that? No, no. But that's what it took for them to make it in the company they were promoting. With this company, folks, with this company, you could literally be making 100000 a month with 1,000 people in this company. With one-tenth of what it takes in other companies. So, but like Gray did in the beginning. And now, you know what? Now he puts two hours a day in in the mornings advertising and safe list. And then another hour getting credits and building his list with na <coughs> with names, email addresses, and phone numbers great, Tim. that he extracts from the credit that he's getting. And like you said, Dad, this is just nothing more than a work schedule. This is what I was doing for the guy that owns the package store, but I'm doing it for me. And he doesn't, he is a blabbermouth. <coughs> uh, nine months ago, he he blew away more business than you could shake. He went through hundreds of businesses that said no to him. And each time he learned what he did wrong, I told him after, after that first, actually after the second week when he was ready to quit, I told him, I said, what did you learn this two weeks though? You see, it's not the failure, it's what you learned from those failures so you could have successes. He said, Dad, I never thought about it like that. I said, that's exactly right. I said, you've got, to learn, you've got to take away something from every one of those failures and turn it into a success and get better. And now, everywhere he goes, and he says now he's more select. He can afford to be. He's nine months into it. He's built that income. He's got that testimony now, Okay. And now he's more select. Before, he would go to three, four, five businesses a day, 10 businesses a day. He'd wear himself thin. And he was blowing out a lot. Now, he's actually able to go back to a lot of those businesses and say, hey, you know, listen, I talked to you about nine months ago. I've got a product, and, and he has a new spill that he uses with everybody. How, how, would, you like, how would you like to take it? your existing customer base. How many, how, many, how many sets of nails do you do a day? On the average, just give me an on, on the average. Well, I don't know, 25. Okay. How many a week do you do then? Do you figure you do a week? Oh, probably 150. Okay. How would you like to have 30% of those 150, 45 people, generate you $5,000 extra a month. Oh, yeah. Do you think that would help your business? Could that pay your mortgage? Could that pay your lease on this building? Could that pay your, your, your heat and air conditioning bill? Could that put a little extra in your pocket? And every one of them says, says the same thing. Yes. Yeah. He says, now... Just imagine if half those people generated you an extra $10,000 a month. Would that make you even more excited? They're saying, yeah, what are you talking, how do you, what do you, well, let me ask you this. 
who do you know that would like out of all your customers that come in here? How many of them do you think would like to look 10 to 20 years younger? And it's always the same thing. Gray said, they always, yeah, I would. That's what almost every buddy says with this product right here. And now he's got the banner. And with this banner, he'll unroll it right in front of him. He says, he's been using the banner, by the way, for almost a week. He says, this on the wall and back of the counter, this on the counter on a little display, three or four bottles of this. You, you can't help but have customers that read it, look 10 to 20 years younger, read it, that ask you, what's it about? And it's all spelled out below it, softens lines, crow's feet, turkey neck, stretch marks, this, that. Folks, let me tell you something. He's using it. He's not saying as much. He's showing numbers. And people are buying. And by doing that and showing them how they can make more money, you wouldn't believe. The, the last one he was in that, that ordered, he said two of their cus customers, the ladies that were in there said, I've heard something about mink oil. Mm -hmm. Hasn't it been out a long time? He said, yeah, but it's hard to get. Very hard because most of, most of what you buy on Amazon has vitamin E in it, which nullifies the potency of it. This is one of the only pure ones in the open industry. And the other pure mm -hmm. one that sells on Amazon sells for $119. And the lady goes, yeah, I heard it's expensive. And just how much is that? He said, $49.95 a bottle. She says, God, that's under half of what it said. He said, yeah. She says, well, how, how do I get it? This is a customer. What do you yeah. think the owner of that business is thinking right now? Uh -huh. Okay. Well, I got to order it. Better get it before I lose them. <laughs> got it. Folks, it's fun if you make it fun. It's, yep. You'll be successful if you open your mouth and ask for the sale. And, and you'll be able to recruit so much easier so much easier because to build residual income you've got to have people yeah. that don't sign up and go out there and try to recruit the world because that is a house made on sand it will fall apart mm -hmm. you build based on retailing to recruit that is the success of this industry and with a business model that we've created where the products are priced right so nobody can rip your heart out and say, well, I can get it cheaper, okay? Well, you can, where at? Oh, on Amazon. Well, let's pull Amazon up right now. Okay, let's type in mink oil. Oh, here's one for $39.95 for an ounce, but it's got vitamin E in it, which is no good. The potency's dead. Here's another one. It's fifty nine ninety five. That's it. That's their sale price. Fifty nine, and it has vitamin E. Oh, it's no good. Oh, here's one one nineteen ninety five, and it says it's pure, but we have to figure out if it is or not. Okay, CBD. Same thing goes, folks. You're in a CBD shop. You're talking to that owner. You're not letting them know you sell it yet. You're asking them what's the highest full spectrum they've got well i've got a 2500 over here what's that sell for well one ounce bottle we've got for it's on sale right now for 299 dollars <laughs> wow what what's if you don't mind me asking what's the cost on something like that for you're the owner of the store right well i'd rather not go over my cost in it wow cost the cost must be about a hundred dollars 150 dollars if that's the case well, like I said, I'd rather not talk. What if you could get like 3,500 milligram full spectrum, high potency cost factor for about 50 bucks a bottle? Wouldn't that, wouldn't you be able to make more money with something like that and offer your customer more? Yeah. Folks, every time their eyes are like, there's no, there's no way you can buy that potency for $50. That's what Gray's been running into recently. Well, folks, you pull out your case, you show them, you say you can make more money selling more product than having it sit in your case at $299. You can sell $3,500 for $99.95, make 50% profit margin. And sell, would you rather sell 20 a week at $50, which is $1,000 profit? 
or would you rather sell one a month at two ninety nine with one hundred and fifty profit? Plus, the people buying it at ninety nine ninety five in a month, they're going to come back and buy it again and again and again and again, and you're going to be building up your sales. Folks, this is how easy this business is with the prices being right. So I dropped some diamond nuggets in there. I hope everybody picked up on them, yeah. okay? Because it's fun okay. to do this business. If you open your <laughs> mouth, if you have document, the documentation is the product and our website, your website, there's your documentation. <laughs> and you put it in front. Yep. So with that being said, I'm going to open up for a few minutes here for a question and answer session. Then we're going to end today's training. So with that, let me end the recording real quick. Bear with me.